If the question becomes no deal or no Brexit, could the answer perhaps be Norway? A loose alliance of MPs plotting a Plan B Brexit are looking to this Nordic state. If all else fails, we might want to join the club with Norway. Then you are very welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I can recommend it. There's certainly much to admire here, but does that extend to its politics and a plan MPs call Norway Plus? Frankly, who knows? It may well be the talk of Westminster, but do we really want the sort of arrangement that Norway has, albeit with a, a British bit bolted on? They pay into EU coffers here and have no say in shaping its rules. Is that Brexit? It may yet be the only Brexit that can get through Parliament. In Oslo's enchanting Christmas market, I meet Norway's former Europe Minister. After David Cameron called the referendum, he, he asked you for a favour. What was it? <laughs> well, he did, uh, his people did invite me to come to London. He was enlisted by our previous Prime Minister, who thought a Norway-type deal would be bad for the UK. When I was asked, I did say that it's uh, not necessarily a model that would be in keeping with uh, the British sense of self. And they wanted you to pop people off. <laughs> do you think we could do something similar to Norway? Would you say, go for it, Theresa? Uh, our experience with this model is that uh, it's uh, working extremely well for the economy, uh, but it does have uh, a democratic deficit. Some people say it's all pay, no say. We can make our voice heard in other ways, but obviously we don't have that democratic right to vote in the end. So what if Britain asked Santa for Norway Plus this Christmas? He would take us out of the EU and gift us membership of Norway's club, the European Free Trade Association, with Iceland, Liechtenstein and Switzerland. He would give us membership of the European Economic Area, which ties three of those countries to the EU single market. And because we've been very good this year, he'd throw in a plus, a customs union with the EU, which Norway doesn't have, to avoid a hard border in Northern Ireland. Skeptics in the UK include the governor of the Bank of England, who's warned of instability in our financial sector, were Britain to implement EU laws we have no say in shaping, as Norway does despite paying into the EU budget. <laughs> and then there's the gift no hard Brexiteer wants. In Norway's club, Iceland or even Liechtenstein could veto which new EU laws apply in the UK. Although the EU may fear Britain doing the vetoing to try and cherry pick EU rules. I think people are skeptics to have uh, a member uh, that would uh, disrupt our national interests. The president of Norway's pro-EU movement wonders what's in it for them. I'm a bit surprised about the debate in the parliament right now that just think that you can access uh, an agreement that we have. Uh, and has served us well for 25 years, uh, that will make it more difficult for us dealing with the European Union. It's kind of like having an uh, abusive partner spiking the drinks and inviting to a Christmas party and think that this will go well. In Ålesund, at the heart of Norway's vital fishing industry, some will tell you of an upside to Norway's deal. Out of the EU, Norway is out of the common fisheries policy, which sets quotas among member states. Even so, Norway has still traded off access to its waters with the EU. This is a very impressive vessel, Solvay. I own it together with my two sisters. Solvay runs one of Norway's biggest family fishing firms and is resigned to the extent EU vessels fish in Norwegian waters. If you see our industry, I think that we have to give away more of our quota who historically uh, have been in our waters. But she says it could be worse. We would probably have to give away a higher percentage to the European Union. If you were a member? If we were a member, yes. But follow some of Solvay's fish to where they go next. And you see another aspect of life outside the EU. Processed fish from Norway gets hit by EU tariffs as high as 13% for smoked salmon. For the British fishing industry, it's a warning of how brutal trade talks after Brexit could be. Where is the most common place that people are from? Uh, from Eastern Europe, uh, in, in our case, it's mostly Lithuanian and uh, from Latvia. 
you're also seeing the single market in action. That means freedom of movement and the reason Norway Plus may very well falter in the UK, despite being the least economically damaging Brexit by the government's own admission. Uh, and, and that's before we ask, does Norway even want us I'm in its club? You're looking into having a, a Norway Plus kind of deal without really knowing the full uh, extent of what kind of deal we have. I think you would mess it all up for us the way you have messed it all up for yourself. Well, don't assume this Norway Plus idea is Christmas coming early. Even the MPs behind the plan say it would mean leaving the EU with Theresa May's current exit deal and changing the declaration about our future relationship. Then there would be a tough negotiation with the EU against another ticking clock. And as we all know at this time of year, you don't always get what you ask for. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, Oslo.